what do you do with the gift of God in your life number one you discover it I'm showing you the dynamics now because knowing maybe you write this first knowing you are gifted is not enough you must pay the price to refine and develop that gift knowing you are gifted ladies and gentlemen knowing you have skill knowing you are called knowing you are a businessman knowing you are a prophet knowing you are an apostle is not enough paying the price to develop it that is where your honor is and that is where your reward lies the reward is not in the discovery the reward is in the refinement and the deployment let me take it again the reward is not in the discovery you are not rewarded for discovering yourself you are not rewarded for discovering your gift you are not rewarded for discovering you are called into ministry you must be able to develop and refine let's talk about development the first thing you do with your gift is to discover the second is development spare me a few minutes as I charge your hearts look up please you want to develop your gift you must be prepared to go through the furnace of affliction the furnace of affliction is not a bad word you know once we hear affliction many people just run away and say I reject it can I tell you sacrifice is the language of champions nobody becomes great at their terms let me use ministry for instance I do not want to speak like I'm bragging but heaven knows and I can tell you uneasy lies the head that wears the crown make no mistake about the glory of God that is revealed in the life of people today whether it's accessing the anointing whether it's staying on course to find revelation whether it's understanding leadership are we together now knowledge is not a gift you buy the truth developing anything is difficult learn that from architecture you can destroy a building in one minute literally without exaggeration but it can take you as much as three four five years depending on the kind of structure you're erecting building anything is hard building men building stamina growing in the anointing building your faith building your knowledge bank both spiritually and intellectually it takes time this is where many people miss out on it because we have this superstitious idea that just because the Holy Ghost is in my life and I have scripture automatically with no effort on my own part I will rise mysteriously especially because of forces in the kingdom that have not been taught properly chiefest among them is favor I teach favor a lot and I can tell you I'm a living epistle of that mystery but it does not have told you favor is merited the idea that is unmerited is what has deceived people into complacency and laxity I know my God will do it be laughing at me today tomorrow you will bend your head in shame as a prophetic confession I agree but with no effort on your own part to work with prophecy you will be disappointed in multiple folds I tell you are we together I've seen many people who want to build great ministries for instance rather than submitting themselves to learning to understand the ropes around excelling in ministry all they are interested in is just a little impartation apostle just touched my head and I know everything will go back I assure you to be a risk for God to send thousands of people with that bankruptcy of knowledge you do not know what human beings can do when you are not trained to understand the psychology of people it's not only scripture you need to understand the, the kinds of problems that your organization will go through I'm not sure you'll be ready to handle that and so God will teach you he will guide you are we together now yes it pains 
breaks my heart when I see several believers who seem to admire others and make it look like God just isolated a few people and decided to lift them and has left others to scrounge in mediocrity. No, the Bible says the same Lord, ladies and gentlemen, is rich unto all. It is true that he may give one five talent. It's true that he may give one two talent, but a hundred percent result is possible at any level. Not everybody in truth may have access to an international or a global ministry. This is why God rates men based on the faithfulness what he gave them. It would be unfair to expect five more talent from the one he gave two talents to. That's why the same commendation he gave the one with five, he gave the one with two. Because within the scope of their ability, they did the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me developing your ability will require you to invest time spiritually to invest time intellectually to invest time in terms of physical dissipation of energy you want to prepare for a great life you want to prepare for a global ministry you want to prepare to be a global brand be ready to make contact with the spirit your times of prayer i mean rich moments of prayer city in the spirit there are certain spiritual burdens you cannot carry until there is a track record of building robust strength in the spirit it will be unfair for you to carry say this line arrays and drop it on a human being just one person it will be unfair because this will be too heavy for one person under normal circumstances so God is not going to trust you with the burden of nations when he sees and vets that you are ill prepared please listen carefully the spirit of god is speaking to us there are families respectfully speaking that may never rise because they have not taken the personal responsibility to know that if we are to rise it is everybody's business and we must take responsibility you have a family of 10 people the men are lazy the women are entitled are we together the parents don't care the younger ones are blaming the elder ones and all of them are blaming demons for the ultimate reason why they are not rising and the demons are surprised because they know what they did and they know what they did not do how could you blame us for everything it's funny but i pray you are getting the message it is very consoling to blame spirits because you can't take them to court is very consoling to blame spirit because they will not appear and say you are lying this one i did it this one mm -mm. the mediocre's excuse is to transfer blame to the realm of the spirit why are you not rising is because of this and that i used to have one dream and they used to oppress me okay minus the oppression what have you done nothing you give the gentleman 100,000, the next thing you find him running around, eating in a restaurant with people who are millionaires, and he's there, 100,000, home and abroad, and he's eating too. And you are wondering, what are you doing here? And the reality of the time will take you from that place back to where you were, because you've not qualified to get there. Are we together? Yes. Listen very carefully. I made up my mind that I would not be praying that God should bring people. Rather, I would be praying that God should build capacity. Lord, build capacity so that when you bring the people, I can truly be a blessing to them. Build capacity so that when I declare over your life, when I prophesy over your life, that week in and week out, as people converge from across the globe, it will not be that you are coming to just listen to cunningly devised fables. No. I challenge all the departments and the workers as they work. Don't just say this is a spiritual platform. Maintain the highest level of excellence that can be. It is spirituality, but these spirits are coming in human bodies. So make sure excellence is maintained at the highest level. Is someone learning now? Tell yourself no excuses. Shout it again, say no excuses. For as long as you continue to justify mediocrity, you will keep getting angry and jealous and envious of people who are paying a price you are not seeing. 
are we together now yes our world today is full of bitter angry and envious people who find pride in pulling others down because they do not know that with it with it with the press of diligence god can reward the same lord is rich unto all but i can tell you not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards you are praying five minutes snoring while you pray that five minutes living your life carelessly jumping from pillar to post and there are others who are paying the price while you are sleeping they are awake praying over nations studying for hours investing in knowledge there is a name god is called the righteous judge please listen to me i say it again the righteous judge you can't carry the same level of grace no god is not a politician while others are submitting themselves to mentorship and to learning you sit down and learn watch videos build your spirit build capacity i am amazed at several men of god great people who are doing great things and sometimes they will honorably reach out and just say apostle you know have a conversation and say please i want you to share one or two things with me about this area and i'm humbled i'm saying my god can you imagine these people are also doing great things as god has helped them but look at the, the humility of heart and there are others who are not going anywhere they've not started anything not doing anything and everybody is their colleague no Are we together? A gentleman one day said, Apostle, I don't know if you can give me an opportunity for us to pray together one day. I looked at him with compassion, honestly, and it's not pride. I just said, this, this man. <laughs> what do you think the power of God is? A charm? Do you know what it means to stand and speak over God's people and the God of the universe begins to honor your speakings? Now, I, I hope you know, I hope you know not to sound proud. God is not a man. Burn that in your spirit. God is not a man. You want to speak over a man's life? Let the gates of your destiny be open and then it is open. Do you know the kind of sacrifice? This is the point I want us to get. Ladies and gentlemen, so I, I really hate sharing my story because most times um, it, it doesn't achieve what I want it to achieve. It just looks like we are just marketing ourselves and, and you know, acting arrogant. But I wish I had the liberty to share with you the instances of the sacrifices that this man before you has made. It will be evil for you to believe what is happening is just luck. I repeat, it will be evil for I don't care whoever to believe that what you see today is luck. No. There are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. But only a sure will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. Only a sure will reign forever. Hear me, you want a generation to hear your voice? It's more than posting videos on social media. Now I'm saying this respectfully speaking. I want to help my precious generation get out of that garbage and invest in the spirit. 
it takes more than just telling people i am here there is a track record in the spirit let me tell you if heaven does not sign upon your life you will waste your time for nothing upon the earth you believe that people will just come and give you finances like that everybody will not dash you you have to understand the financial system of the kingdom god can raise men to support you but for, you believe that men will be the ones to run your your life financially go and find out how finances work and bring rest to your life once and for all the anointing you need to go and stay with God find out the various wells in the spirit and the skill to fetch and draw from them mm. not every well works the same way just because you learned how to fetch from a particular well the Bible says wells of salvation there are different skills to fetch so you will see people who are operating at different frequencies in the spirit is because they have mastered how to draw from the spirit hallelujah the sacrifice of fasting the sacrifice of prayer the sacrifice of honoring the voice of god even at your inconvenience i cannot have told you i don't know how many times god has given me painful instructions give this empty this do this and sometimes it does not make sense i shared with you my story last year when god gave an instruction to sow a seed i knew that a season was coming and god was opening me up it was a new dimension in the spirit i've taught you how to discern when seasons come to an end an unusual desire to pray an unusual desire to give unusual attack from the kingdom of darkness these are signs that tell you a season is coming to an end you don't want to be around people again something just isolates you to be alone is because the master wants to speak to you and if you don't understand these writings you will keep wasting your time there are things god will never tell you in public you need to painfully know how to stay alone then his voice comes hallelujah and god gave me an instruction first to bring a serious seed as a ministry and to sow that seed itself was i can tell you sincerely at any level it will touch you and then then came the bigger instruction and i'm saying this because i want you to understand it's not to brag at all God now told me that what I told the ministry to give, you give twice that amount. Ah. When you give Ishmael, you can drive him in one day, go away. But when God says to give Isaac, it will touch you. Isaac will touch you. Isaac Ba will touch you. But you see, I've worked with God a bit. And I know that every time God says, open your hand, it's not because of what is there. It's, about, it's because of what he's bringing. And with that sacrifice, I, I rejoiced in my pain as I honored God. God forbid that he will speak and I will not listen to him. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest is history. Another dimension opened for me that till forever, Listen, people do not just rise. The sacrifice of paying the price to build, are you willing to go through it? For someone, God can just call you and say, every night for the next three months, I want to meet with you, 12 to three. It is me and you alone. That is my covenant for the next three months. It may not be for everybody, but it's part of the preparation to birth. And if you may even be a businessman, that's what will surprise you. And say, God, go and talk to them, apostle and the rest, and leave me in peace. I thought you would teach me how to make money. He's preparing you because when those billions come, demons will say, where did the money go to? And they will follow your business and say, we are here. The king of Tyre just found out that something left heaven and did not pass through him to you. And so they will have to come and vet. And so God can tell a businessman, for three months you are not talking money with God. 
you are fasting and praying and building capacity afterwards a door of business will open and by the time people think you are just wearing suit and tie they do not know that by sacrifice you brought yourself into the fivefold ministry ladies and gentlemen i want to show you what separates men from boys there are many people who do not want to pay the price it is a language that our ignorant sadly and arrogant generation does not want to hear sharp sharp everything it is only god that will tell you the amount of times i've finished this bible you are seeing my former bible you open it and you will think there's writing everywhere sometimes i will write all kinds of things there because you are studying to show yourself approved that's why you see me quote scriptures and i can tell you what another version says you try it if you think it's a gift it's not a, you know we have this idea that god just magically endowed you no the grace i'm not downplaying the grace of god i hope you get what i'm saying you want to command power authority over nations you are going to have to stay with god are you ready to invest it with the spirit you don't have a track record with the holy ghost listen to me you come out like this just playing games and for show you will only embarrass yourself for nothing it says but i know whom i have believed you came here tonight not just to meet god alone but you came here to meet men whose blood are dripping upon the altar he said let no man trouble me for i bear upon my body there is a scar that the realm of the spirit knows jesus i know paul i know joshua selman i know you is it, with blood you sign that signature he that cometh unto god must come believing that he is the rewarder while you are fasting you know the rewarder is watching you while you are praying the rewarder is watching you somebody says come and bribe and become a director and you say no and for that reason your children pay the price for one year the rewarder is watching can i tell you if you do not know the rewarder compromise will look pleasant if you do not know the rewarder all these cutting corners in ministry you can stay even if it's with five people with joy i know the rewarder is watching you are training the five people as if you are preaching in a stadium mentoring them because those five people are not your members they are your leaders you are training when your leaders are trained members can now come are we together yes development is difficult it took jesus 18 years to be ready for ministry 18 1 8 18 years of actively building himself ladies and gentlemen it's time for us to throw away premature manifestation and premature exposure and get back to the place where men are made made for their destinies are we together now the stage is not for rehearsal the stage is for manifestation if you want to rehearse go to the wilderness you will be given a chance to kill the lion don't come and stand before goliath to try trial and error will destroy you goliath is not playing games learn with the lion learn with the bear and master the art of war when you stand before goliath it is one one opportunity to bring him down listen you must master the mysteries of the presence of god you must master the mysteries of the anointing you must master the mystery of dominion you must master the mysteries of influence you must master the mysteries of the word of god people will not just come and listen to you like that businessman what have you read about business do you know the best people in your industry have you humbled yourself to learn from them or you are wallowing in the pride of saying everybody's a colleague 
run away from colleague mentality that's what has kept many people down in this our arrogant generation just because great men are humble does not mean they are stupid know where you stand and draw the line with honor no matter how humble our fathers are sometimes a particular father of faith i would not mention the name but when we have the privilege of talking sometimes you can say ah uh, you know i'm speaking to an apostle now and i just laugh i say ah daddy don't don't say that or oh, he's still your boy and we're laughing most of you as they say that kind of thing you carry it as a compliment that a pastor is speaking to an apostle what 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 foolish indoctrination these are men who their tears move heaven and heaven will say who is making you cry Is someone learning you own a school it's time to stop clapping for yourself and sit down how can I make it the best how can this be the greatest you own a business you are in ministry it's time to stop you you cannot be going up and down every every program every show you are there jumping from pillar to post and you want the anointing to work in your life no Samuel was called a seer you didn't see him out every time but when samuel came out people would know that god is about to say something because this guy has come out most of us have cheapened ourselves because you are everywhere doing everything hallelujah when others are sleeping you wake up in the night father for the sake of my destiny i love you but you are a rewarder i came from a family where no one has risen and i heard my parents tell me that they tried i have made up my mind that i will be that savior lord for the next seven months it is two hours with you every night while you are doing that you are in your small room don't worry the rewarder is watching the rewarder is watching I sense in my spirit that God gave me this message because in this season the rewarder is going to move again move from family to family move from ministry to ministry there are some of you hear me you have served for a very long time and it looks like nobody has noticed you I'm telling you prophetically do not feel bad I'm saying this by the spirit of the living God the rewarder is going to have a convocation and say I remember you paid the school fees of a young man in 2015 nobody saw you to say thank you but I have come as a rewarder that your children will never beg again because of what you have done hear me when God wants to schedule a season of reward the first thing he does is to put something in your hand Exodus chapter 4 give it to us please Exodus 4 and verse 2 I hope I got that right yes this was the encounter Exodus 4 and verse 2 and the Lord said unto Moses what is that that is in your hand there is always something in your hand that will be used to make your influence Moses you are about to be greatly magnified by God that rod and when you read the verses after he said to throw that rod on the ground you must cast that rod and worship God with it until that rod is handed over to God to refine it now go to verse 17 same Exodus 4 and verse 17 he said thou shalt take this rod in your hand wherewith thou shalt do signs it was in your rod before but nothing was upon it to do signs same rod now with the anointing upon it you can do signs same gift of singing sometimes i watch this my precious people as they worship as they sing and all the, the lovely people who just sang and i'm looking at them and you know i keep praying that god will grant them the grace to keep building because you see the value of the anointing is that it comes upon a prepared vessel let me say it again the value of the anointing is that it comes upon a prepared vessel when god calls you he files you before anointing you most people want the anointing to come upon the unrefined version of them while you wait for power make sure you tarry in jerusalem praying while you wait for power make sure you are not idle 
keep working on your leadership skills while you wait for the anointing keep working on your human relation skills while you wait for the anointing keep working to understand the dynamics of ministry while you wait for the anointing keep studying to be an excellent preacher while you wait for the anointing you want to become a leader by excellence you want to become an educator you want to become a business person while you wait for the anointing don't sit down and fold your arms wake up in the night buy the books go online don't watch nonsense go online find valuable materials that relate to your destiny all those exercises are you preparing for the ministry of the rewarder but I can tell you the rewarder will always come that's why you find out that ordinary men get to seasons where it looks like God just gives them visibility and then we erroneously say they came from nowhere there is nobody who comes out from nowhere no hallelujah today i look at what god has graciously done in my life and i'm truly humbled my prayer is that god will use my life to inspire a generation more than just planting pride to help people know that spending time to market yourself is a total waste of time your marketing is to build your value i'm saying this because something is going to come on someone shortly i'm going to pray some prayers for you and for your destiny there are doors remember we're dealing with opening of doors he said the gift of a man makes room for him so when it's time for God to end the cycle of poverty in your family, it's not just the Esther anointing is going to drop. Before the Esther anointing arrives, listen carefully, he will now isolate at least one person who begins to get angry with that situation and say, Lord, things cannot continue like this. We can't continue living from hand to mouth. Our daughters and our sons will not keep prostituting themselves because they are looking for money. Lord, I will learn God's way of doing this. And God will plant a passion in that person. And you will begin to listen to tapes and teachings. The rewarder is watching. Remember, the more he's building himself, the more she's building herself, enduring the temptation for all kinds of compromises, preparing yourself for a great life. And after 10 years, the person will be running an organization that is multi-billion and people will say i used to know you you are right but not that version anymore not that version anymore not that version anymore can i tell you when it has to do with refining your potentials so that you schedule the seasons of reward don't spare yourself don't let your tears we live in a generation that is excessively obsessed with comfort we love comfort too much listen comfort is when you have arrived not when you are starting a young man is about to start life and he wants a comfort of a veteran he sits down with a 50 60 70 year old man and he wants the same kind of treatment no sir apostle i got a job they are just giving me fifty thousand, and i have to trek for 30 minutes go and ask parents who trek from one community to one community to go to a, a secondary school for the man to become the professor that you see that he is today he had to trek and with joy it was even an honor for him that he could go to school but our generation today there are people who can have access you can just walk 10 minutes 20 minutes to a church and you will sit down and follow online because of sheer laziness and then want a, a, a solid impartation to come upon you and then God will trust you with the destinies of men globally it doesn't work that way hallelujah my dear people are here sometimes I go online and I listen to their songs when I listen to their songs I call them and I said, this thing you sang, congratulations. From a spiritual standpoint, I was touched. But from a technical standpoint, this and this and this is a mistake. Go and do it again. Go back to the studio. Work again. Don't say, I don't have money. The money you got as honorarium is not for buying clothes. Go and invest in your mind. The one for clothes will come. Go and invest in your mind. Can I tell you, there are many of you right now, what you have around you, is what has made your head empty 
because the money god gave you was supposed to be for your head you denied your head of an opportunity to be rich in knowledge and you kept creating a semblance of success whereas there was nothing there it is better for people to know you have nothing physically but that they can appreciate the investment of god's grace how long did it take pharaoh to decorate joseph they didn't decorate his mind decorating your body can happen in one day I know the cloth does not look very nice but you just invest in your spirit and your mind the day the person sent to appreciate your value comes by God that person can take you shopping in one day and buy your whole destiny for you are we together I love that song prepare to sing it for me Come, key strings. Okay. You just sing it one time for me. He wrote the song. I want him to just sing that song. It, said, it means fix me. We are stepping into a prophetic dimension in this teaching now. There are some of you, there are things you need to throw away. Throw away and make up your mind. Sing for me, key strings. a song that says fix me is a cry walk on me what does it take for my glory to rise fix me if it takes fasting fix it oh God if it takes prayer fix it oh God if it takes me going for trainings fix it oh god if it takes another level of education and knowledge fix me oh god but by all means by all means i refuse to remain ordinary by all means i refuse to remain a mediocre by all means hallelujah hear me listen to me the season of training is a very hard season you see some of my photos of many years 
as wonderful as those photos are you see some of us looking lean we look better than those days now but those are the days that made these days hallelujah emptying yourself in prayer emptying yourself in fasting raising the bar of your fire and your passion even when you are doing well you increase the bar of the marking script as if you are not doing anything hear me my dear generation hear me don't settle for less don't settle too cheap there are heights and the journey is far remember my teaching last week i challenge you on this wise and i'm still repeating it again when it's time to announce the u.s conference i will tell you a very serious miracle that god did it is there are things that when god does it just keeps you in awe hallelujah let me tell you sincerely sincerely and i'm saying this openly there is no one pound one euro that has been sent already for this conference every money that has been used to do everything so far has been the lavish giving of god's people with joy in their hearts in spite of the limitation we don't have an account provided yet and people have squeezed in to say i can't wait when when you stay and it builds you don't worry about supplies don't worry about a name don't worry about where you will get the donkey for the triumphant entry just make sure that your your gift and your talent is developed in one day god can open up a door someone can come and sing one song and the whole nation will place a demand on you in one day god can put you somewhere as a politician and as a businessman a dear woman i can't remember her name now i met her when i went to preach for my dear friend pastor kingsley in lagos and i meet this woman and she starts to tell me her story very touching story it's possible she's even watching or may get to hear this and what took her to the white house was moi moi making moi moi that's what scaled her till she got to the white house until today she's still doing it she shared with me her story and i was so touched i remember discussing with pastor kingsley's wife i said you will have to do a documentary for this woman incredible anything can lift you if you refine it admiring people and wishing if i were more beautiful god knows if since you are not esther be something else you are not esther be deborah at least be something wishing you were esther is a waste of time if you cannot be the queen that king ahasuerus will marry then be deborah the warrior then be naomi then be this if you cannot be gideon be elijah if you cannot be elijah be samuel since you cannot fight learn how to prophesy but by all means make sure you do something can i tell you what god has put in your hand is enough to open the gates of your destiny listen to me thank god for those who have what you do not have but stop this season of blind admiration that makes you to demean what you have everybody can celebrate what you carry you just have not recognized it and refined it anything in its crude version is not worthy of being rewarded i know you are a great musician thank god for um david dam and sam and k strings and all these my precious people thank god for their lives but do you know that what god has put in you someday you can stand and share the stage and also celebrate jesus but it's good to be challenged by other people's giftings but please not at the detriment of what god gave you thank god for apostle joshua selman but what you are seeing is a refined version of something you may even have a greater version of anything looks bad when it is not refined including oil 
go and ask those who work in the oil and gas sector when you see oil in its raw and crude state the smell alone will drive you away you almost want to suffocate yet that's what cars will queue for for hours and say thank you for paying